Excellent. Excellent. Um, I gotta check the camera. You gotta do your soy face. Though. Yeah. I can't do soy face every week. <laughs> well, what is even your? I think your face is just soy. <laughs> what? Look at oh my god! That's a guy, and then there's another guy here. <laughs> what are you fucking kidding me? This is crazy. I'm gonna click that thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, that thumbnail has a guy looking like a complete jackass? <laughs> Better watch this video, then. Better watch that. That looks like void of any artistic integrity. I should click that. <laughs> I was worried this was intelligent, smart, collected, and well put together. But now that I see a big retard pointing... I'll click it. I'll devote my life to that. Get the Coke Zero in. We should be... Uh, Coke got a... They got a sponsor. I us. only drink these on the pod. I'm not a Coke Zero guy. It's a treat. You know, I I, I could tell this is like your big thing. It's mm-hmm. a cigarette. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God, they're not good for you at all. No, they're terrible for you. What's I mean? What's even in them? Let's, it's, uh, it's just cancer. It's the phenyl phenyl <laughs> It's fen- fenanol. Contains phenyl and caramel color, which is that that uh, turns your liver black. <laughs> it's just stuff that rots your insides. Yeah. From the it just it rots you from the inside out. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's why it's good. Yeah, that's why we like it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, it's probably doing so. I bet with all the bad it does, it does some good. I bet it cleans you out in some way. Like a roto rooter. Yeah, like it's got it. Yeah, it, like it, it's killing you, but at the same time, it's like cleaning the pipes. Yeah. Because if you put that in your toilet, it would like kill everything. <laughs> it's a good. Well, you know what's funny is you can use Coke to clean up yeah. other things that are like really in there. I know. You so can, this is running through me right now, just getting rid of all the bad stuff. That's what I used to convince myself of. I'm not kidding. Mm-hmm. When I used to drink a lot of soda, I'd be like, I think it's killing some of the bad <laughs> stuff in there. Yeah, like, you know, my b- bacteria that produces like dopamine and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's killing my neurons <laughs> and happiness. And Yeah, you're foaming like an old sink when you pour the thing down it before you wash it out. <laughs> I yeah. used to think if you drank a lot of water when you had dinner, that the water... Like somehow washes the food out of you. Yeah, yeah right. I'm so retarded that I still kind of think that. <laughs> <laughs> I could I could eat like twelve Snickers bars with a knife and fork. I'd be like, well, I'm gonna drink two glasses of water. <laughs> yeah. So I can absorb the calories. Mm-hmm. I do that all the time after a horrible, un- horribly unhealthy meal. Yeah. You drink a big glass of water and you counteract the effects. You, you think the, the water's dissolving the food? Mm-hmm. I, I think it's just getting. I think I think my intestines are like Slitterbond, where it's just shooting the food through it. Oh, so that's I can't Interesting. Yeah. To yeah. me, I think it's just turning it into pee. So I'm just peeing. Like I eat like three musketeers, yeah. and then I drink water, and it's mm-hmm. it's it just pee now. It doesn't it's do just bad. pee. Yeah. It's not. It's not calories. I drink water. Right. I drink I have, water. I have done that thing where they say like drink a bunch of water before you eat, so you won't eat as much. But then I forget, so I just do it after the meal, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Because I just had like 1,900 calories worth of like burgers. I'll have a meal so unhealthy sometimes that I'll like take a shower afterwards, <laughs> thinking that the shower like cleansed the soul. Like you just saw a whore. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you're, so, you're taking a shower and then you sneak back into bed, brush your teeth. <laughs> Devin just goes to Golden Corral and comes home like a cowboy taking a bath. Yeah. You know, they take baths like six times a year then. Mm. It's a a big event. In a big tub with Mm. his his legs dangling out like that. Yep. (laughs) Suds everywhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big beard, prospector hat. Yeah. I'll do 10 push-ups after I eat like 5,000 calories. I'll Mm. do like 10 push-ups. I'll be like, yeah, I mean, my heart, I think it unclogged like the bad part. Because I did the 10 push-ups. You did the 10 push-ups. I did the 10 push-ups. It unclogged it. Mm-hmm. It, it I'll, I'll eat 5,000 calories, and then at the very end, I'll be like, I don't need the rest of this bun. I'll put the bun away, and I'll be like, that would have killed me. Mm-hmm. That last half of the bun. And then like 30 me. minutes later, you'll come back and like eat the bun. <laughs> and then I eat the bun you later. You pick it out of the trash and like there a, is a lot of, there's, a che- there's a lot of cheese on it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Can, can we talk about the cowboy bath for a second? Yeah, I would be. Because I would love that. They're covered from head to toe in crud, <laughs> and then they get in the bath, and yeah. then they just sit in their shit, in their own shit. It, it yeah. makes no. You might as well take a shit in a toilet and then get in it. Baths are very strange. It's weird because there's no chlorine in the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So but the, the cowboy bath specifically, they would just grab like a bucket and they pour it over their chest, into their dick area, yeah, yeah. and they'd be like, "Well, I'm I'm good." Yeah. yeah, and, and then like an, 
an old whore with gonorrhea would like wash their hair. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just some whore. Yeah. Her tits are just pressed up insanely, mm-hmm. compacted into these insane things. Yeah. And then like a Chinese like general store owner would like scream at them mm-hmm. in the back. Yeah, he'd throw lye in the bath because they thought that got you clean because it burned your skin off. <laughs> yeah, but it was basically like showering with Roundup. Mm-hmm. It was giving you cancer. Yeah, and- they were so dirty like the bath water was like solidifying by the end, like it was mm-hmm. turning into cement. Mm. Yeah. No, the only way you should have bathed back then, th- there were a couple pros to the cowboy bath. One, it's so dirty, you can't, your penis isn't all weird and through the water, it's not refracting crazy sure. and freaking you out. You look down, you go, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. all weird. It's You're not getting pointed. the thing where your dick goes like that and then it, it just bends at a 45 degree yeah, it's, angle. It's small at the base and then gets bigger. Right. And it, comes up to weird. grab your dick you almost got to do like how they spear fish where you got to aim in front of your dick <laughs> like two feet yeah to jack off you have to aim <laughs> right you're like staring at the water like fucking cast away yeah just, <laughs> just you, grab your dick because you feel like you're jacking off up here because <laughs> of the way the water moves everything uh but the, then the other the other big pro of bathing back then is you could just jump in a lake mm. and then everybody smelled like shit anyway so right just being like the bar was so low then like if you just if you walked around with shit in your ass, it was totally fine. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you have a turd literally. Like you could be fucking a woman, and there's a turd sticking out of your ass. <laughs> no, that far. completely fine. Yeah, you could turn around and then fuck her with yeah. the turd sticking out of your ass. Yeah, like you're doing, you're doing reverse cowgirl, but with a hard. And the turd just made out of like Copenhagen mm-hmm. and like old buckwheat and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no rim, I, rim jobs back then provided a lot of protein for people. I do like the idea of like the, there had to be one guy in the old west who went and got a prostitute and just ate her dirty pussy. Oh yeah, after she fucked like twenty guys, who looked like the judge from Blood Meridian, <laughs> and that had never happened before. Yeah. And she's like, "What? She's oh like, what the hell was that? <laughs> this fucking gay pervert this guy was gay. <laughs> this guy made me come on purpose." And they they hang him in the town square. Oh, uh, her just and her pussy just looks like <laughs> rotted bulgogi. Yeah, it looks mm. like the, it looks like two roots on a tree meeting. It just looks like raw meat that got oxygenated. Yeah, you want to you want to put it in a a pot of boiling yeah, water. It, it looks like you left her pussy in the trunk for two days. Uh, so who do you guys think the speaker of the house is going to be? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Don't e- I saw that joke online. I saw people talk about the speaker of the house. We need to talk about events. Enough of this cowboy bad oh, shit right. with the turd God out of his ass. God forbid we were exploring the past <laughs> right. and making funny no, observations about it. No, what's happening now? What's now, let's, Elon? Yeah, guys, let's talk about the retards <laughs> who are doing the play for Come us. on. There's not going to be any people talking about this. <laughs> Guys, guys, the news is fake. <laughs> now, now, here's my opinion on it. You, you're going into Carbon Voice on purpose now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I am. There's so many comments that say I'm doing Carbon yeah. Voice. Yeah. I've seen that too. I didn't, it was just kind of like, this is what we, that's what I retard Now I don't is. know what retard, my retard voice is anymore. Yeah. I mean, I think it's like shades of your life. You go into different types of retards yeah. based on people you meet, you know? They're yeah. upset it's not a highly specific retard. Yeah. You go, you go Carbon Retard. I can't, I can't get it. That kind of retard. Jace's retard voice is my favorite. My retard. The exasperated. My, yeah, my retard voice is like, um, <laughs> I thought I told you I wanted Chucky Mick. Yeah, your retard voice is the guy that's like, uh, can I say something? <laughs> like, um, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Um, actually, the speaker of the house is very important to um, how large um, become bills and stuff. What does the speaker of the house do? They speak. Uh, they get the big hammer. They, they have the hammer. Yeah. They have the biggest tits in Congress. Right. They always get big bolt-ons. Yep. That's, That's why right. Nancy Pelosi looked like that. Yeah. She had really big nipples. Yeah. And they go, you're just the Speaker of the House, I guess. So we don't have a Speaker of the House. It's like, we, it might be, oh, because Nancy, the stupid Nancy Pelosi, the stupid bitch, she left, right? Yeah, she retired from being the Speaker of the House. So it's like, new stupid bitch or new dumb asshole. Is that our choice? I guess. I hope Elon just buys the house. Mm-hmm. And then makes himself speaker. Right. He, you can just buy it, right? I would, it's like I would, on Zillow, you could just buy that building. Can you buy it? Mm-hmm. And you're like, I own this building now. And that, that's where all the laws are made. So then you just move in. Yeah. They should make Congress electric. <laughs> yeah, and Elon's posting on Twitter. He's like, should I make it being gay illegal? <laughs> <laughs> it, the vote's like 98% yes. <laughs> every, every artist you know is getting thrown in jail. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
That'd he, be pretty. That'd be pretty kick ass. He didn't actually. step down, by the way, after his poll where he lost. Yeah, he made a poll saying, "I'll step down if you guys want me to vote yes, step down, no," and like it was like sixty five percent yes, yeah. step down. And most people were like, "Yeah, that'd be like totally awesome, dude." And he and he kept responding to the tweet <laughs> as the vote was becoming very clear that nobody wanted him to be the head of Twitter. Yeah, he responded to it and goes, "And by the way, I will adhere to oh, he the." Kept, he kept trying to hide it, mm-hmm. yeah. like when you send a text you don't you don't want it you didn't want to send, yes. so you send like, "Hey, hello, <laughs> KKK," like just to try and yeah, get them. He was typing clear over and over again, <laughs> sending blocks of it, and then he responded to it and he said, "By the way, remember the old saying." Be careful uh, what you wish for. You just might get it. Right. It's like, what are you? What are you doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> I really don't know. He's like the he's the fortune machine in Big, huh? Where, oh, yeah, the Zoltan machine. The, yeah, he's that he's that gay thing. Right. He's wearing a turban and mm. just yeah. He, he can he can only do things that's that aren't really real. He's a walking our gay. Yeah, he's a walking monkey's paw. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where you, he's like, I want an electric car. He's like, I, I will give you the electric car, but it will also explode and kill you. <laughs> Classic monkey paw scenario. It sucks that the only people that should be killed in like a nuclear attack will be the ones that like start it. Mm. Yeah. You know? And they'll just be yeah. totally fine. And they'll be fine. Yeah. They'll be under the green briar in that big vault. Yeah. Don't they have like towns underground that yeah, we can't he has, use? He has tunnels and stuff yeah. that yeah. he built under places yeah. for fun. I, I did watch like one Dug big holes and TikTok stuff. showed up that was like and they're they're just voting to whether or not to adjourn and it's like they're like all in favor and then the Republicans are like yay and then the Democrats are like no like they're trying to overshadow them. I'm like can there's just somebody just shoot every one of these people no that sounds like people <laughs> working together for the betterment of our lives yeah they all work together they right. care about us they're working together mm-hmm. isn't that fun when they play a big game with our lives yeah I like I, that they get $140,000 until the day they're dead, whether or not they're working or not. I thought about like putting on a Peter Griffin shirt, like a family guy shirt and going down to the bar and just pacing and I keep biting. You know when like people like bite their shirts like this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like their little, shirt shirt. Yeah, like, like retard Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just pacing with my hands behind my back. And yeah. I'm like, but who's going to win the speaker? <laughs> The damn Dim's got to take it. Right. And it's like two o'clock in the afternoon in a bar and everyone's mm-hmm. like, would you shut the fuck yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. Like you just like bet too much money on the Rutgers game. I'm you're not, like having a panic attack. I was at this bar that I watched. I used to watch every Lakers game out with my dad. We went there one time two years ago to watch a Lakers game. And we don't. I don't care about the LeBron stuff, but we were just trying to like rehash the old days. Mm-hmm. And we got there early. We have the game on. We're watching it. And they changed the channel in the middle of it to the Democratic national convention yeah or and uh like on c-span or something like whatever i don't know it's uh, yeah i don't know and what even is that what is the democratic national convention democratic national convention means it's just they come out and they just they like have a line of trans kids and they go like these are going to be like the next yeah president god God bless you god bless you (laughs) yeah god bless you son (laughs) yeah it's just like (laughs) it's just like joe biden like sniffing the cock of Mm. like an (laughs) eight-year-old And <laughs> yeah, it's just the eyes wide shut party, yeah. but with the little trans children. And he's okay with it because it used to be a girl, and so he's into it. God bless you. Her hair still smells like L- uh, L'Oreal. <laughs> the testosterone hasn't made its way into the hair yet. It hasn't hit the hair yet. <laughs> yeah, sure. He's like, still fresh, still good. <laughs> with his big, long fucking <laughs> Nosferatu fingers. So this waitress. We, my dad and I are like, whoa, what's going on? We came specifically for the game. We're here for the game. This is a, you know, this is a Lakers bar. Mm-hmm. And they go, well, sir, th- uh, these people have been here f- since 3 p.m. They're waiting for the Democratic National Convention, and they, uh, th- that, that's what they want to watch. And we turn, and there was this like group of just, just women that look like those type, those modern women that dress like they've, they've, been, they're getting beaten every night. <laughs> Like those modern women where everything is going well in their lives. They eat sweet green 30 times a day Mm -hmm. and they live in an amazing place in Silver Lake. But they dress with like weird blanket. Like they dress like they're hiding bruises. They dress like they've been in a horrific accident. They they dress like they're living in a tenement building. Yeah. Yeah. They dress like just constantly like, oh, she's pleading. Just so frail and Like like their husband is Jim Braddock or something. (laughs) So they have, they have the outfit you get when the police are comforting you outside your burning mm-hmm. home and they put a blanket on you. Yeah. You're yeah. like, this is mine now. Yeah. I wear, I'll they're wear all, this everywhere. They're all wearing that. silver blankets and they have little cups of coffee <laughs> yeah, that they're drinking. And they hold the mug like it's like, you know, it's warming them. Like that type of women. Sure. Mm-hmm. Woman. 
and uh, and I look back and I go, "You're really we're here to watch the Lakers. You're you're really preparing to watch the Democratic National Convention?" Mm. And she goes like, "Yeah, what's your problem?" And I go, "That's retarded." <laughs> And then my dad like started like trying to be me, and mm-hmm. he got in like a fight with the waitress. It was a really crazy yeah, night. We got, like, we got thrown out of like our local place. <laughs> your dad's like Devin, please, I got this. And then he immediately gets they pick yeah. him up and then throw him <laughs> yeah. through the window. Yeah, your dad's like so much worse. He's like, I'll kill all of you. I'll come to your house and butcher you in your sleep. <laughs> It was so annoying. Oh, that's great. I just couldn't you, believe people... You should people... turn around to them and be like, you know the only difference between that and the Republican one is it's, is it's blue. That's yeah. In the background, it. there's there's a blue wash yeah. right. of lights shooting up yeah. rather mm-hmm. than red. It's literally, that's it. It's that's just, the difference. You that's have the a, only difference. I was like, hey, you have a dumber team than I do. I think mm. I said that. To oh, her. nice. I was like, you root for a stupider team than I do. Nice, dude. And Hell then yeah. I think I said, and LeBron's on my team. <laughs> oh, and wow. I hate it and it's still not as retarded as your team and they're like we don't know what it is but it sounds black so great job they're like we're trying to watch billy porter butcher that buffalo springfield song we're trying to watch uh, uh, billy porter bully 80 year old men because he has yeah. a dress on mm. we're trying to watch like the vmas if they ruined the country can you let us watch yeah. the VMAs? Mm. Is there we're trying of to watch, We're trying to watch the Hunger Games ceremony. <laughs> Stanley every, Tucci comes out in a big top hat. <laughs> a big top hat and he goes, Ooh, deaf <gasps> deaf to everyone, Ooh. but the gays less Ooh. deaf. By the way, if you turned on the Lakers game, they would think it's a rap video. <laughs> oh, they for would sure. have no idea what's going they on. They think it's just black people getting cardio in, like in prison. <laughs> They're like, oh, so they have cameras in the jails? Yes. Yeah. They have to watch basketball games through a slit in their window because that's how they look at every black person in their lives. Right. They have to open the window like this. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, what are they up to? They, they watch the Luca 60 point game and they go, so that's Eminem, right? <laughs> he's, he's the white one. So the same type of people that are on Next Door every day, they move to East LA to an up and coming gentrified neighborhood and they get on Next Door and they have to tell everybody, like, hey guys, there's like a Mexican in my neighborhood. Yeah, there was a there was a man uh, pushing a lawnmower across is, my lawn. This is a little strange. There's like a Mexican with like a backpack. I don't know. It's kind yeah. of weird. Like I know I live in a neighborhood called Hacienda Heights, <laughs> but it's kind of weird. There's a, there's a man who comes and mows my lawn, and then he steals sixty dollars from me every week. Does anybody know about this thief in this neighborhood? People that are scared that there's a guy selling fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Like a half a mile away. Yeah. yeah. They're assuming the fruit just has cocaine burrowed in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. They're like checking the mango for El Chapo. <laughs> and then later on, they'll like, go. I've seen Breaking Bad. And then they'll I know go, they go set up a big GoFundMe for the fruit man. Mm-hmm. After they accidentally get him reported to ICE. They get him reported. <laughs> Oh, like, no, man. I was just I was worried about the food regulations, so I called the government and said to send him back to that hellhole that he came from, because I care I care about the community. No, I don't want them to be in cages, but get them out of here. It's not it's not a cage. It's a big wire fence yeah. they can't escape from. Is this fruit legal? Is this legal fruit? <laughs> They're arresting the fruit. <laughs> They're arresting yeah. the fruit. <laughs> Putting handcuffs yeah. on the fruit. Cops show up and start beating the fruit with like batons. <laughs> the cop, the cop is planting fentanyl on the fruit. Yeah. Mm. Then there's a big march for papaya. <laughs> yeah. Did Did you see all these cops faint? By the way, they say there's like fentanyl from the fentanyl dollar bills, bills right? Yeah. And they keep passing they keep out, getting... having seizures and stuff. Oh, that's great. Yeah. There's it's, what it's not. Medical like people keep coming out. Doctors are saying this is literally impossible. Yeah, you can't just get fentanyl soaked from a dollar bill into your finger into your system. You start like ODing. So it's just a bunch of drug addict cops. It's clearly a cop who like just like frisked one of those white women and stole a bag of cocaine and like OD'd on fentanyl. Yeah, he's like, no, there was a black guy with a dollar bill that I touched. Yeah, they're either doing the drugs, which a lot of them do, Mm -hmm. or they're just doing it for attention. Right. That that's all it is. Yeah, they're like prima donnas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't see that though. It's much more interesting than the Speaker of the House gives a shit. This Burn it all down. House. This is January sixth today, right? It is January sixth. Yeah, the best day in American history, <laughs> and I stand behind that. Yeah, truly the funniest day to ever exist. The funniest, best day to ever happen. Okay, there is no tragedy that mm-hmm. happened on that day. 
Nanny Ma, what's her name? What's her name? Um, Insurrection Mima. Insurrection Mima should be remade into the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, we should. <laughs> They should sink the Statue of Liberty yeah. off of Ellis Island and erect an insurrection with, meme off. With her holding that big mason cup with the straw in it with her water. Yeah. What is that? It's like a mason glass? Yeah, she has like one of those like cheesy $15 plastic mason jar yeah, yeah, with the yeah. handle on it. Yeah. She's like, it reminds me of when I used to throw peaches at Negroes. <laughs> I saw there was stuff I forgot from January 6th that was so funny. I saw the picture of the, of the black security guard doing the no look pepper spray on yeah, a guy. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Yeah, he was like going through the legs with the pepper spray. Yeah, like he's LeBron throwing to Larry Nance. <laughs> God, she's just amazing. Look at her. I mean, what she's a great. sweetheart. Imagine being upset at that woman. We tracked down Capital, Capital Mima. Uh, Insurrection Mima is a better name. Yeah, Insurrection yeah. Mima is funnier. Yeah. Oh, by the way, quick shout out to the guy who made this sign. We didn't even know. Oh yes, it. um, uh, of uh, Yar Yarmel Yar Yarmies or Yarmel. Fuck, where's the where's the cards, Ben? Oh, we'll, we'll uh, do, they're we'll, right over there. We'll do it at the end of the show. Right. Yeah. But I'll put his thing in the description and, of the. And his name's Josh, and his his store is Yar Yarmies, I believe, it's in Baltimore, and he's an go, incredible. Look on your Instagram, real incredible quick. furniture, yeah. uh, go, furniture designer. Yeah, go figure out what he is, and then go follow him. God, she rocks. Yeah, she's great. She really should be on the twenty dollar bill. It's it's yarm yarmless, yarm yar, yarmels yarmels. How do you um, spell that? Y a r m l e s. He's making stuff out of things. Baltimore, Maryland, and the the man that uh, wrote us the note and stuff is named Josh. And thank mm -hmm. you so much. They're 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 both incredibly beautiful. Yeah, so he a made, really appreciate. He made it. us his computer, and as an Easter egg, he hid hard drives of. CP inside this computer. That was the weird part. <laughs> that was the strange. Yeah, twenty part. terabytes of CP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but oh, I, I would she's love. Amazing. I would love to honestly have her on the podcast. Oh, I'd I'd interview this woman in a heartbeat. <laughs> she's amazing. Just handing out fucking uh, coffee flavored candy. <laughs> yeah. Now she's getting inter interviewed by Andrew Callahan. Just being like, so are you a skater? I saw. Did you guys watch the Callahan? I did, yeah. January 6th doc? Mm -hmm. I saw he confronted a guy about being a pedophile. I saw a funny clip of that. That was pretty funny. It's yeah. all funny. Like, he's good at getting retards to be retards. But uh, it just felt like a bunch of his videos in one big video. In one big video, mm -hmm. you know, it's it like all, it's all like serious now. It's just yeah, everything has to become like you know that like uh, this was a planned attack. Like that these people actually thought that they were they were staging like a coup. Right. They don't know what that means. <laughs> they don't know what coup means. It's too yeah. fucking French sounding. <laughs> Like, we ain't doing no gay coup. We ain't doing no coup. What we're doing, it's called a strategic walk into the building and get shot. <laughs> oh, shit. She wasn't at the Capitol. She wasn't? There's a fake picture? There's one problem with the meme. The woman was not actually at the Capitol in D.C. on January 6th. I well, wish this I didn't know this. This is BuzzFeed News. This is like a corgi wrote this. <laughs> a retarded corgi wrote this. I don't yeah. trust them either. Yeah. BuzzFeed. That was the best thing about Trump was when he started going after BuzzFeed. It was yeah, yeah. hilarious. Henry Kissinger's granddaughter wrote this article. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. I dated a girl who was like yeah. a big writer at BuzzFeed. She she grew up in Hancock Park in a mansion. That's all of them. They're women yeah. that were like they were they were uh, somebody walked past them uh, very quickly at Disneyland and they accused them of rape. They and accused they, the wind of rape every right. five minutes. <laughs> and they said, "Would you like to write listicles about like which type of dog has big dick energy?" Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey guys, we're doing really important work here at BuzzFeed today. We're showing you how to put chili in a sourdough bowl. <laughs> And that's, I'm a journalist. Yeah. I'm, I'm writing, a journalist, Ben. I'm mm -hmm. writing a, an article about how it's not sad that Lizzo has small tits, <laughs> even though she's that big. I'm writing an article about how being fat is healthy. <laughs> that's my contribution. Yeah, female incels, incels, yeah. who's like dad's like founded Raytheon or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, I did Feed. a video at BuzzFeed. It was early on. Really? I know you did. When I thought it was like, I, th I thought it was a big deal. It was like the Back only... when you and I f would find jobs and we're like, uh, me and Devin, yeah. uh, we're, we're kind of good for the next few weeks. We're making $60 today. <laughs> Cash. <laughs> it's not tax. Yeah, that was. We were. We, mm -hmm. I would do anything for anything. It would be a 14 hours of work for like 50 bucks. And, mm -hmm. some, and yeah. you would get free lunch and dinner. Yeah, and but the lunch was the worst lunch ever because everyone's like a vegan, so we all had to get like veggie grill. Yeah, so I had to eat like a tofu cheesesteak or whatever the fuck. Eating out of those like cardboard bowls that mm -hmm. they serve you, mm -hmm. yeah, with a spork. 
with a wooden spork. Yeah, um, a biodegradable bowl a Mexican woman is going to throw in the garbage later. It was insane, though. It was... It was <laughs> It was a. I, I watched them make like seven videos at once, like that, because that was they would just they because they, they're all the same because they're all the same mm-hmm. video. So mm-hmm. they were just they would be like making a video mm-hmm. and then be like, we need a girl. Hey Jessica, can you stop doing the fake thing you're doing? Come over here and be in the fake thing we're doing. And they they filmed like yeah. eight videos that all got you know e- equally like they all got like millions of views mm-hmm. and, and they were meaningless videos. Jessica, you're a Disney princess who's enjoying boba. Yeah, right. that's it. That's it. That's I mean, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was thank God there are I think we are, failing. We reimagine the Disney princesses if they were Twitch streamers. <laughs> yeah. Jessica, mm. you're you're kind of the brownest person here. I think you're Italian. Can you tell us which type of uh, <laughs> which type of Korean street food is the most racist? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, you went you went to Montclair, right? Mm. That's kind of impoverished. Yeah. Jessica, you're writing that piece about how popsicles are ableist, right? Mm. Can you come over here? We're making a horrible video. <laughs> Yeah, you, we're making a video about it. It's okay that Cardi B raped men uh, when she was a stripper. Dr- she drugged and raped men, and that's fine. We're talking about how cool that is. Mm-hmm. But if it was a man, we'd, we'd think he should literally be shot in the street. Think of the sketches they do that don't make it to air, where they're like, we put a bunch of GoPros on some puppies and release them in Compton to right. show that black people love pets. And they're like, that one didn't make yeah, it to air. Yeah, that one didn't. They're like, <laughs> most of the go- it wasn't a fight yeah. club situation. So they go... Unfortunately, there's two French bulldogs in the battle of their life right now. <laughs> With the yeah. BuzzFeed cute infographic. There's like videos of just guys blowing smoke it's into just, the lens. Just method man behind the French bulldog, like throwing dice. Like, get him! He's, he's putting dice on the dog. He's <laughs> putting dice on the, on the dead dog. <laughs> God. They have so much and stuff like, that doesn't make it. Yeah, they're reviewing the footage. They're like, "It's T- Ted Cruz did this, mm. <laughs> right? This is why this happened." <laughs> Imagine the BuzzFeed videos that don't make it. Oh, you know? everything. How they bad do they pitch have to now? Be? Ends up being probably racist. Yeah, it are probably goes too far. Are they somehow like done? Like they were trying to be so good that they like somehow worked their way into like. So we did a video where we're we're euthanizing homeless people mm. so they don't have to be poor anymore. <laughs> Yeah. They just like turned into like, <laughs> yeah. like fucking uh, Dr. Kevorkian yeah, or they, some shit. They've turned into like manic pixie, like dread characters. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. BuzzFeed's list of 15 reasons why your dad paying for your college is actually misogynistic. Oh, you have to you have to cancel your father for paying for your education. Everything's bad. Mm. You know why your dad actually paid for your college, Jessica? Because it, 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 they they taught you to be racist yeah. at school. <laughs> pa- that's why she, that's why he paid for it. Think again. When your parents fly out to see you on Christmas, it's much more sinister than you think. <laughs> it's always much more sinister. It's always much more sinister. They have evil intentions. Mm, yeah. Your parents are white, but you're not. <laughs> Oh no! The truth is actually quite dark, Jessica. Mm-hmm. Your, your parents? What do your parents do, Jessica? They they used to work for IBM. They mm-hmm. don't have jobs anymore. Well, oh, that's interesting. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So they don't want to work. Jessica, you used to be white, but now you have um, press on nails, big long nails. So Je- you, Jessica Hitler, are no longer white. <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> Jessica <laughs> Wilhelm Auschwitz Hitler. Hitler, because you have long nails and you go click 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 on your phone, you're no longer you're white. no longer white. Right. Jessica wears big hoop earrings, yeah. so it, it doesn't matter that her dad was the architect of the yeah. Holocaust. Dude, BuzzFeed is probably some weird occult thing where everybody's a descendant of mm-hmm. some genocidal oh, like warlord. I I sincerely think if you go to like the Eyes Wide Shut party, in the, like they schedule thirty minutes where they're like, okay, so all of our daughters are retarded, right? <laughs> <laughs> can we make can we make a fake newspaper so they can all pretend to work? Like it's mm. like it's the newspaper version of Richard Scarry's like yeah, yeah. town, you know. Jennifer, you'll tweet for big gay ice cream. Right. You're the tweeter for that account. Now. Jennifer, you're the reporter equivalent of a big raccoon wearing overalls and a, and a hammer. Just hammering a nail into a piece of wood. You're a builder in the way Bob the Builder was a builder. <laughs> Like you have that, you put on a little hat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll put you. We we give you a, your car is a, it was one of those Barbie cars that four year olds drive, <laughs> and your office is a big play place assembled out of plastic. <laughs> and you go to a computer that's not plugged in, and we slide different pieces of paper mm. behind the computer. 
let's say either woke or fucking racist. Dude, I don't even know. Jonah Pretty runs BuzzFeed, right? He's the owner. Is it's that, Chelsea yeah, Pretty's he, brother. He Chelsea co-founded Pretty's, it. Yeah, Chelsea mm. Pretty's nose mm. runs it. <laughs> Her, yeah, le- her, her left nostril runs BuzzFeed. Yeah. IT Adrian Brody runs BuzzFeed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't believe they're still running they the still website. They still do this shit. Who, yeah. who, who, who the still fuck going? goes to this, though? 25 hilarious hidden messages out in the real world that prove people are really, really clever. Okay. All right. I'm gonna okay, click, click it. And it's who's who wrote it. And yeah, we can't. I don't know. It's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. We can't start publicly doxing people. <laughs> uh, it says, this clothing company that drew hands on a barcode as if it were a piano. Hmm. Oh, my God. That is crazy. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. And this person went to school to, like, in theory, I'm assuming, like, study the killing fields in Cambodia or something. <laughs> right. You know? Right. Yeah. They're like, no, I'm going to be in Kuwait. I'm going to be, like, talking about, like, you know, human genocide mm. and things. But now they're like, it looks like a piano. This is what they do. Mm-hmm. This yeah. Why Hot Pockets are racist. <laughs> Dude, that's what's always was funny to me about guys that I always specifically thought was funny about guys that moved to L.A. to work in film. Mm -hmm. And then they end up like because a job is a job. They end up working for TLC, my 600 pound life or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's just like he's trying to be like he's trying to do like a Terrence Mm Malicky thing as a cinematographer. Yeah. Like lowering the camera to show him sitting upon the toilet or the squatty potty or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. He's taking a break from the thousand pound sisters to go like read his new Kurosawa book (laughs) that he got. Yeah, Yeah. yeah, Yeah. And he's like, I think I got a really great, great shot of that person addicted to Tide Pods today. (laughs) Mm-hmm. That's what all I think about when I see like bad shows and bad movies is the amount of work put into them. Mm-hmm. And movies- you actually have to have a uh, all the people on production in production have have great skills. You meet people on yeah. these sets where you're like, oh my god, your talent is completely wasted on and, bullshit. And the spending, amount of work put in, spending their whole life doing that. Mm-hmm. Their whole life. Where deep. there's a there's a family like daddy can't be home for Christmas because. The sex life of college girls just got renewed for a third season, so <laughs> yep. we're not going to see daddy for a couple months. But that's months. the thing. If you're watching that show with your wife, mm-hmm. she's she's at home next to you. She's going, oh, my God, that scene was such a giant hunk of shit. <laughs> and he, you would turn to your wife and go, it took seven hours to set up the lighting mm-hmm. for it. Yeah, and yeah. Then, it looked great. And then he points at the TV to some actress and he goes, and this bitch had a lot of questions about her character's motivations, and that held us up for another four hours. <laughs> That stupid bitch. What do you think you're making? Fucking, we're not. It's not a Fellini film. Yeah. You dumb whore. We're mm-hmm. making something to upload to Netflix. Yeah. These things don't even have premieres. They're <laughs> uploaded like you upload the podcast. It's just some guy at Netflix uploading the newest yeah, hunk yeah. of shit. They're aired on like the Snapchat news story. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're airdropped. It's a guy yeah, yeah. like they're they're filming. Mm-hmm. They're they're filming like the menu on like an iPhone, mm-hmm. and then the guy's like, "Yeah, it should work. Upload it to HBO Max." He's just editing it like in TikTok. He and edits then exporting it, it without the watermark. He edits and then, it on the iPhone. Mm. When you like, oh, we got to cut that part. Yeah. So you just drag it. Mm. And he doesn't even pay for the editing app. So it has the fucking stamp across the front of it. <laughs> the watermark? It says like splice on it. Yeah. And you're like, you can Editing pay, wizard? Yeah, you can pay yeah. two ninety nine a month. <laughs> He's like, well, that's the premium. Yeah. He goes, you know, probably the hardest part about editing is waiting for the mobile ad to stop playing so I can exit <laughs> out of it. <laughs> He's, yeah. he's at home point. He goes, and so right off camera in that scene, there was um, a, a writer who um, got the job by pretending to be trans, and they, they were watching porn on their phone the entire, <laughs> this entire eight hour day. Oh, they were a freaky pervert. Yeah, they were freaky. Oh, she was, so she was messaging nine year olds on Instagram <laughs> trying to fuck them. And so she wrote this whole, they wrote the season in 45 minutes. They did a powwow. Oh, she she got the job. She claimed her dad was Emmett Till, <laughs> and then we finally figured out that the the uh, the timelines make no sense right. at all. We, we, just in terms of actual we, time, we finally figured out what she really meant was her dad killed Emmett Till. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a piece piece of shit. They're all pieces of shit. I feel bad for all those people because they. I, I, I'm glad that they're the only people in film that are making money, though, at least. They actually get paid decent day rates for their for their skill sets. That there's a lot of productions going on so that it's like the Wild West. They can make more money. Mm-hmm. Like the people were the working class people on. Film yes. Sets. Right. Yeah. Those are the only people worth talking to when you're on a when you're on a set. Mm-hmm. I mean, the rest of the everyone is so mentally ill. <laughs> Everybody in the thing is completely gone. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. 
the people making it and the people in it are mentally just they're just gone and the the only guy that's interesting is the guy lugging the lights around mm. that's the only person that you want to talk to yeah, yeah. that guy the, that guy's good at what he does and then there's the guy who's like the like one of the producers mm-hmm. that's there who's super stressed out yeah i've seen those guys on set before and there's they're shopping for new Mercedes on their phones mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they want to kill themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're killing themselves over if you went to the head of HBO. He's like, we we make that show? I've never heard of that. I've never before. heard of it. I've never, what is it called? It's called Gay Cousins. What do we do that show for? <laughs> oh, right. It's the, it's like the, it's the all gay black show that we have so people don't give a shit for succession. It's a big billboard that we have to be like, yeah, 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 black mm-hmm. gay, mm-hmm. black gay, black gay. Yeah, and then yeah. we, we have the good show right. over here. Yeah, no, I actually, I work on Succession now, but I, I came up in the, in the in the stupid uh, black PR shows that we produce <laughs> so we can make the good shows that we want to make. Dude, you know But we, now I'm working on Game of Thrones. You know what we should do? We should create a suicide hotline that calls people to try to get them to kill themselves. <laughs> and it calls people specifically like that. From yeah. the Patreon, we should start employing people to cold call people and start digging a little bit about their life and then Mm -hmm. deciding whether or not to convince them to take their own life. We should form our own CIA, CIA is what you're saying. We should become Nick Kroll's dad, basically. (laughs) Yeah. But for (laughs) That's what the company's called? (laughs) Yeah, we're the company's called. Kroll's father, incorporated. Yeah, Nick Kroll's father. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, what do I do for a living? I have retards killed. I have them killed. Have them all killed. Have them all killed, but it's private sector, you know. None of that public work with the bad pay. It is funny. We accidentally riffed our way into the most interesting show on television if they made that. <laughs> oh, yeah, by far. By far. If we, the, the setting of the show is some weird third world weird thing in the mountains of Spain or something, and we have an, a team of mm-hmm. people that are cold calling people in the United States. We're getting senators to kill themselves. It could even be woke. Mm-hmm. We're getting like Republican, like we're right. just harassing people on the internet, calling them, getting them right. to finally take their own life. Yeah, we're like war dogs, but we just hire like a like a phone center in Thailand, mm-hmm. and we're like, you call Perez Hilton all day until he until he kills himself. Until he kills himself, creating fake advertised content mm-hmm. to to make them think certain things about themselves and what the media is saying, <laughs> yeah. publishing fake articles. Yeah, negative comments on their on their vlogs and shit, fake on their TikToks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would love that. Yeah, hiring bots to comment stuff mm-hmm. like kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself. Right, right. Hiring, hiring Thai people to pretend to be 12-year-olds to message Chris D'Elia over and over again <laughs> all day. <laughs> and people are like, why did you do it? And we're like, we just, it's funny. It's just a fun goof. Uh, we thought we thought it was funny. We thought it was we we we, we, thought it was funny. we just really hate comedy, yeah. so we thought it was funny. Thought it was funny. We thought it was funny. We, we thought it was funny to con a bomb threat to Netflix. We thought it'd be funny. We thought it'd be funny to lock the doors of Viacom and, and you know burn it. Yeah, burn it to the ground. We were we, so we were watching we were rewatching Inglorious Bastards, <laughs> and we got to the theater scene. And we go, what if we did that for real? <laughs> Now, we know it's not very original, but we killed everyone at HBO. <laughs> I mean everyone. Except Secession and the guys who just repost mm. Sopranos every once a year. And the, the lady that's Dana Gould's ex-wife. <laughs> because the, the, he had some great specials. He had some great specials back in the day. Very and underrated comedian. Simpsons season three through ten. Who great, could forget? A little bit insufferable, but not as annoying as other <laughs> comics that we grew to hate, who we grew up respecting a lot. <laughs> Definitely lived too long, but it's fine. <laughs> Still a genius. Still a genius. Just a sad divorce man now. <laughs> I hope the show gets big enough that we can never meet any of our idols. No, that's that's my dream. I love Dana Gould so much. I know. I so love him I. so much. I know. But I love just the idea of like we've done the show so long that we've we can't walk down Hollywood Boulevard. Oh no, we can't leave our homes. Yeah. So we're like boarding ourselves yeah. within mm-hmm. a home. People are like those are the guys that threatened to bomb our building. <laughs> That's that's the sign of uh, we, greatness. We can't even order a Postmates anymore because it's just poisoned. Right. Yeah, the like Postmates every... driver is poisoning us because he <laughs> is the lead in a show. We've talked shit about every every living human being in LA. Mm. We're six years to the show and we've run out of people. And we're like, and that taco stand on Figueroa, <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> We have nothing left. We have, we have nothing left. Yeah, we're, we're doxing like mm. a guy that makes pastor. Yeah. You're like, I went to that shop. It was amazing. Fuck him. <laughs> just to fucking just feed the machine mm. of this podcast. Oh, God. Which I, is funny. We, we love so much, though. Yeah. We don't just hate. And we don't think we're better. Someone messaged me like, 
Oh, you think you're better than everybody else because you have you think if they don't have the same taste as you and stuff, yeah. then <laughs> That's exactly it, retard. That's the whole point of having taste. If I don't think I like it, I think you're dumb. Right. Mm-hmm. The point of taste is to separate myself yeah. from you who are who is worse than you're I am. You're worse than I am, and that's right. why I talk loudly about it. And if you if you argue with me about it, I'll just talk louder I'll than talk you do. I'll talk louder, I'll talk through you, and you you don't do this. Mm-hmm. So why don't you start your thing and you tell us about all the horse shit you think's good? I, tell us about it, yeah. I, really give an impassioned speed about all the all the shit you're pretending it, yeah. that you like. Yeah. You in a very humor humor filled way, you do that. You go you go do that. Yeah, that's the whole point. I love when people also they're like, I don't get I don't know that reference. It's like, yeah, you're out of the loop. <laughs> Your whole friend group hates you. They think you're the retard in it. Well, that's the interesting thing. You don't get to go, "Uh, excuse me, I'm out of touch. (laughs) Imagine if you read a book and you knew everything in the book. What would be the point of fucking reading it? Look up stuff as we talk about it if you don't know about it. Also, watching it on your computer being like, I don't get that reference. Let me scroll past the new browser button (laughs) to type into the comments, what does this mean? Let me say, what does this mean as opposed to Google it Mm -hmm. and not out myself as a fucking retard. I love yeah. that. The amount of times I've been at parties, I don't get something, and I just silently pull up my phone and yeah. start Googling it. You don't go like, I don't even get what you guys are talking about. Mm. Want to know why you don't do that, Chase? Because it would make you look like a dumb fuck. Yeah, I pull up my phone and I go, ah, oh, yes, Kierkegaard, one of the, I mean, you know, one of the <laughs> exactly. great, and then I and then I reach for something I barely <laughs> yeah. know about, and I go, well, you know, Nietzsche, he uh, he beat a horse and he died and, insane. And then the person who knows what they're talking about goes, well, you're kind of attached to what I was talking about. I guess I'll allow it yeah. and not embarrass you in front of all these people. Yeah. And I go, if you do, I'll call you, I'll accuse you of being a pedophile when you leave. <laughs> I'll tell everyone you fucked a kid. <laughs> I don't mm. loudly proclaim at parties that I don't know what words people are using. I go into the bathroom and I look it up like a civilized retard. Well, that's what... And Devin, I love that you're a civilized tard. You gotta I love be. that you're a civilized You gotta retard. pretend. You gotta go, mm-hmm. oh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you go away. You don't go, I- I'm dumb. <laughs> but I love that like, there's this weird thing with the internet where mm-hmm. they, people are proud to admit they're like dumb. Mm-hmm. Now, you're not dumb for not knowing, so you're ignorant. But you don't get to go like, I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't get to say that out loud, shithead. That makes you look like a moron. <laughs> yeah, at, the, at the very least, just stop talking. You don't mm-hmm. talk. You're supposed to feel out of the loop. That's mm-hmm. the whole point of references. They're supposed to, it's a filter for right. who I want to be around. You're mm-hmm. supposed to do that at your job. As if your boss goes, hey, do this. You don't go, I don't know. I don't get that, Damn. and I never will. Yeah. Your boss is like, can Damn. you do this? And you're like, can I please be fired right now? <laughs> Can you just fire me? You're supposed to all day at work. You're supposed to type into Google how to, yeah. and then fill in right. the yeah. thing. how to file corporate taxes. Mm, yeah. yeah, I don't know <laughs> how to do coding. I don't know. God, most of the coding I've heard is just people googling how do I code this. That's and then I've, they just copy paste. That's it literally like how that. I've learned to do everything in my life. Yeah. Is right. I look, I watch YouTube videos, mm-hmm. and you learn. You just learn doing anything by doing it. Right. Literally anything. You just keep failing and failing and that failing is, and failing. When I worked at my fucking boomer job, that was just 58-year-olds who haven't died yet. That's their only purpose in life, is to just buy things and then die in 20 years. Mm. And you would, <laughs> you would literally be like the fucking like guy who worked behind me. You like, are the more hateful one. It's oh, so I'm, funny. I'm such a... Because I hate myself so much. <laughs> I go through the comments and I have a spiral because one guy called me fat. <laughs> and then I, I just I just go to my girlfriend. I go, you love me, right? And I just whip myself with chains. One guy just types. He just cracks his knuckles and goes, Kool-Aid jammer. <laughs> Kool-Aid yeah, jammer. Yeah. And so I'm somewhere in Alhambra going, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> You're swerving in your legs. Yeah, I'm, I'm like Tony about to have a panic attack. You're Listen. smoking a big cigar. <laughs> big cigar. I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm hey, trying to reach my Prozac, but I'm dropping it. <laughs> Driving like into the LA River. Yeah, yeah, just try. Yeah, I, I go through the windshield. <laughs> but later, it's revealed to be a dream that Doctor <laughs> Melfi is having. <laughs> Rewatching Sopranos, if you can't tell. Um, uh, no, what were we just? Oh, the coma talking? stuff. Yeah, oh that's no, great. No, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but we were fucking at work, and I would literally have like the guy behind me be like, "Hey, how do you like?" The incredulous cholo guy. I told sure, you about. sure he's, he's awesome. I met him I, by the way. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I love him. He's just like this cholo guy who's like, like, so like they put like peanut butter in an M M&M? and M. 
that's fucking crazy. Yeah, fool. yeah, yeah. Just blow like an acid. Trip. Childlike excitement. Yeah, things. like when he first saw the jar where they mixed peanut butter and jelly together, mm-hmm. he was like, "Y'all gonna have to give me a minute." <laughs> Just give me a minute. Right. He tells his family to go in the other aisle, mm-hmm. and he's just like looking down. Mm-hmm. Fuck. 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 He's, oh, he, no. he's a guy, if you have like one of those like holiday party contests where they like, guess how many M&Ms are in the jar, mm-hmm. he stands by it and he counts every <laughs> single. Right. He's like, one, he's two, like, so three. It's, it's hot Cheetos with lemon? Fuck. But that's like, so it's cheese, it's spice. And I guess like it's like sour too. He's like, I didn't even know you're supposed to eat hot Cheetos. We use them in the winter for warmth. <laughs> <laughs> like you just <laughs> <throwing> <laughs> flaming hot Cheetos for warmth. Yeah. You shake the bag and it's like a hand warmer. Put it in your, yeah. pocket. Put it in your pocket. Yeah. Coming home to his cabin and throwing a big Cheeto on the fireplace, <laughs> like it's a it's a Yule log. He goes like fuck, like fuck. This is like a tough winter and shit. Uh. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, Takis are like starter logs for them. <laughs> really, it's, just... it's like a Duraflame. <laughs> yeah, it's, Nick it's, Akato was the one who eats fire. It's it's a Mexican guy walking down the stairs at night. And he's just holding a lit Taki <laughs> like it's a candle. <laughs> like and he's like got the, stick, he's yeah. got the big long knitted cap. He's like, hey, who goes there? For you? <laughs> <laughs> like like who who barely goes there? <laughs> Like I was technically like basically walking down the stairs, and then you were like barely there, uh, like fine. right in front of me. Yeah, this is just a guy. Blows. You're like basically holding a knife. <laughs> yeah, like you're like barely robbing me. Right barely now. robbing me right now. Fuck, that's so funny. But anyway, he was back to the point. He was just like, "Hey, how do you like airdrop something from like a Samsung or whatever?" And I literally Google how to airdrop from Samsung, and then I read the directions off of Google, mm-hmm. and he's watching me do it the entire time. And then later he'd be like, but like, how do you save it though? <laughs> and then I'll type in how to save <laughs> photo on Samsung. He treats me like I am Google. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like if he's out at a bar and he doesn't know something, he's like, hey, let me like call Jace real quick. <laughs> he's like, hey, when did the 49ers win the Super Bowl? And I'm like Googling 49ers last and Super he's like, Bowl win. Damn, he's like, Jace is like a wizard. <laughs> he has like a box that he like talks to and shit. Mm. That's crazy. <laughs> Emma, get over here, babe. All right, guys, let's take a moment and thank my favorite sponsor of all the sponsors, Sheath Underwear, and I mean that. I really do love the Sheath guy. I messaged him on Instagram. I love Sheath Underwear. Mm-hmm. It's a great company. Sheath makes the most comfortable boxer briefs I've ever worn in my life. I do not wear anything else. Every time you hear my voice, every time you see my face, just know that I'm in a wonderfully comfortable pair of Sheath boxer briefs. Their stretchy fabric is made out of a moisture wicking technology. They're super soft. They keep everything cool and comfortable and right in place. Uh, I've, I literally, I think I'm wearing sheets right now. They're so comfortable. You yeah. just, you come throughout the day because they're just kind of stroking mm-hmm. you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's just lovely. It feels mm-hmm. lovely. Yeah, the best part of the underwear is they're caked in cum every time I take they're them off. They're made of cum. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's, they, they've, sheath has figured it out. Mm-hmm. What men want. Yep, they, they want cum. Uh... <laughs> I used to be a guy who just went and bought a six panes of Hanes underwear. Uh, six pack. Uh, six, what did I say? Six panes of Hanes. Six pack of I used to be a guy, <laughs> I used to be a guy who just went and, and bought a six pack of Hanes underwear. Like a retard. I didn't even think about it at all until she sent me a pair of their underwear. I put it on and I was like, I can never go back. And I know, like, we are joking. and that. The sheath's underwear is great. Mm-hmm. No, it, it actually is yeah. incredible underwear. Uh, I love the dual patches. Yes, I do love the dual patches. They keep your man parts separated as a game changer. If you're a little bit skeptical as I was, I'd say give it a try. But even if you don't want to use the dual pouches, you don't have to. You can just wear them like a regular pair of boxer briefs, and they'll be the most comfortable underwear you've ever put on your body. They also have materials like bamboo and mesh for even more cooling comfort. They have bamboo shirts and hoodies for the wintertime. Gracie, stop with the bone. Yeah, Gracie, stop. you got to stop chewing knock on the bone. Knock it off. Gracie, Gracie. Gracie. fucking knock it off. Stop. Get over here. We love you, Gracie. We love you, but we love you so much. It's the only way you can get them to listen is you got to yeah. be a little mean. you got to be a little mean. Mm. And also, it's funnier to be mean, too. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Go to sheathunderwear.com and get the most comfortable underwear you'll ever wear. And if you use the promo code LEMON, L-E-M-O-N, you will also get 20 percent off your entire order that's sheathunderwear.com promo code lemon for 20 percent off your entire order we're gonna we're gonna put sheath underwear on the dogs mm-hmm. and let them shit and piss in it on the show <laughs> we should yeah we should 
All right. Thank you, Sheath. Thank right. you, Sheath. Bye. Back to the show. You know, Bo- so- Boomers just refuse to learn any new oh, yeah. traits Always. or attributes. They, yeah. They can't learn any new skills. Mm-hmm. They never really developed any skills. They just sort of like they had they had four different suits of every color. Yeah. Their one skill is having a really way too firm handshake. And that's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Always greeting people like you're meeting them for the first time. Mm-hmm. Where you just say your first and last name like it's fucking roll call. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Rick Johnson, nice to meet you. That shit. What is that? It's yeah. a bizarre power. Grabbing they a do. guy's hand way too fucking hard. And they they meet they see each other every day mm-hmm. and they still do that. Their their idea they of go, like Rick Bradshaw. <laughs> Or they or they say their name and, and shake each other's hand. They mm-hmm. see each other every morning. Yeah, they they think the their idea of like running a business is walking up to a guy and going, "You old cocksucking son of a bitch." Yeah, right. That's that's doing business. You right. old sandbagging son of a bitch. You get over here. Get over here, you boner biter. Yeah, I haven't seen <laughs> I haven't seen you since you raped your secretary. You <laughs> son of a bitch. You boner biting bastard. <laughs> Boner, yeah, they're giving a TED talk and they're like, accuse your close associate of being gay in conversation. <laughs> That's the HR. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, the HR. Walk up to your coworker and go, you gay son of a bitch. They let you out for sucking cock. And they go, you old, but hey, how do you want this union contract? You know, just yeah. throw it at you. And they're like, what? It, the HR is like, now, if you're in a scenario with your secretary, mm-hmm. should you refer to, if you're not referring to her as Nancy, how should you refer to her? And you're like, should I refer to as a gay cocksucker? And they're like, no, 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 no. They're like, you don't say hot tits. Not again. Not again. Not again, Jeff. Right. Jeff, instead of a goosing your secretary, what if you place your hand way too low on her back? And that's kind of a nice compromise. Mm-hmm. It makes her feel really well, uncomfortable, so but it's middle. not. It meet in the middle. It's, it makes her extremely uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. Like you, you it wanna... gives you the power that you can go jerk off to later at night, but it, you can't mm. be sued for it because it's kind of a weird gray zone. It's a, it's a, <laughs> we're talking about compromises here. Compromises. You don't. You don't call a, calling her a gay cocksucker. Mm-hmm. You call Ted a gay cocksucker. Right. It wouldn't even make sense to call her a gay cocksucker. Now the equivalent of that is you could call her a stupid bitch. <laughs> That's too mean for the workplace. So let's mm-hmm. settle on something like a, a hen or a mm-hmm. whore. Right. Something yeah. like that. If 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 the new intern comes in, you don't say, "Wow, you have a great rack. I love." to suck on until I come, you just go, wow, you have a great body, and then you stare right at her tits <laughs> for like for like way too long every day. And that's the it's the gray zone. Uh, okay, if 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 um if it's like if it's like I'm tired, can I lay on top of her? Can I just like go can I just like go in the in the in the in the conference room and like lay yeah like horizontally on top of the secretary. Can I treat her like furniture? <laughs> Can I sit on her? Can I sit no. on her? And they go, well, are, are you hard? He's like, maybe half. He's like, that's totally fine. Go for Just it. Just someone raising their hand. How many drinks am I allowed to have in the office <laughs> a day? Uh, we, we think you should space it out, you know, one every 30 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I, Don't I, go nuts. I did at one of those security jobs. All the security jobs I've done, it's all the sales guys are just white guys, who just pieces of shit look mm-hmm. like me. And all the installers are just Mexican and Filipino guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I had to do a sexual harassment training video with all the installers, and it might as well have been like I was in like prison watching. I was in Shawshank Redemption watching like a movie or something. Right. People were just like hooting and hollering, like going crazy, just laughing their asses off. Yeah. And... <laughs> it was literally like it was like coming up and like don't accuse a gay coworker of being a fag, and like guys are just like punching <laughs> each like, other. Hey, Marico, get like, the fuck! Like shaking each other and stuff. Like throw. They have popcorn all of a sudden. They're yeah. throwing boxes. That's oh, great. great. Corporate life used to kick a lot of ass because mm-hmm. you could yeah. you could rough a woman up and you could be drunk all day. <laughs> yeah. It was like really I can't even believe you got paid well, to do no, that. Well, no, the back only the thing day. you couldn't do is rough them up. But you could rough them up with words. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I kind of mean. You, you could, could kind of around them. the edges. You could grip yeah. them up. You can't rough them up. You can't though. rough them up. You can't hit anybody. Even in Mad Men there's no scenes of like, you know, the hidden women. I think he like slapped Peggy once. He like he's like get a hold of yourself. He like slapped her. He's like Elron Hubbard's a, a retard. <laughs> <laughs> he's, I don't know if they hit any women in Mad Men, but they definitely made him really uncomfortable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you that's hit, great. <laughs> you could hit your wife. You could do that. Mm. You know, if you give her your last name, you can put your hands on her. That's kind of the rule. Right. That was the rule. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they really nailed how they treated black people in that show because Don would just, like, get in an elevator and stare straight ahead. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just, it, to him, it's a it's a potted plant. It's a, it's a tree. 
Yeah. On the on the on the weekends, he's just going around the neighborhood and just watering yeah. black people that they, are standing there. They had black people in the in the uh, offices back then because they treated it like, oh, they oxygenate the room. <laughs> like mm. they're good for oxygen. <laughs> Oh, they had so many weird things about like, like you know about sanatoriums back then. Oh, you mean um, like uh, crazy houses? I think it might have been a, maybe a few decades before that. Maybe that was early 1900s. But like, they used to think disease came into the house at in the dark. Really? Like that's how that's where disease was. So yeah, at even night you had to close the window. Even disease was black <laughs> to them. <laughs> They're that racist. Yeah, cops shooting at a jury. They're like disease is tinted. It's got tinted windows. Yeah. This is a, this is <laughs> big rims. This is sundown town. No germs <laughs> after dark. You get your ass across that county line, Ebola. That was probably so many preacher sermons. Is they're like, why is segregation bad? Doesn't God keep the light from the dark? Can we? We don't oh, have day right. in the night. We have night in the night, and then day in the day. Think, right. folks, think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's just popping his suspenders. Yeah, popping. Yeah, yeah. just a racist that's like, black people they ate from the hours of uh, seven p.m. to five a.m. It's it's a free for all. Go ahead, do what you want. Do what you want, brother. But in the day is the white man's time. Those guys, <laughs> those guys wanted segregation of time itself. Yes. Yeah. Where like black people should sleep during the day and mm-hmm. then work at night. Yeah, yeah. They're, is that, they're like bats. <laughs> they should sleep, sleep upside, upside yeah. down, and then you know around around six, seven p.m. they start bobbing their heads, <laughs> making the music. Honey, let's all go down to the bridge at sunset. Watch the black people fly away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're kind of, you know, I was thinking the other day, it's kind of like they're, you know, H.G. Wales, the time traveler. They just all live underground, come in at night, steal one of the children, you know, <laughs> eat them. Uh, yeah. I don't know where we're at right now. <laughs> uh, we were talking about corporate life and how it used to kick ass. It did. It yeah. did used to kick ass. Yeah. I remember, mm. I was just thinking, do you remember that time we went to that open mic and there was a DSA meeting mm-hmm. before it? <laughs> Yep, and we were with. Come on, man. We were with Willie Dynamite. They were racist. <laughs> yeah, Willie. Can you tell the story for of anyone that? that doesn't know what we're talking about? It's the Democrats, uh, the Democratic, Democratic Socialist Association of America, or and whatever. they all had their like pronouns, and they yeah. were all wearing masks, even though it was like 2018. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. just prepared. <laughs> Um, every every woman was like this bit, weighed like five pounds. Yeah, and every guy looked like Philip Seymour Hoffman. The, DS, the DSA is is designed for 35 year olds to rape 21 year olds. That is what the DSA is built for. Uh, is for is yeah, for is yeah, for yeah, guys yeah. Who, guys who wearing Hawaiian shirts who look like Larva to go like oh do you listen to Chapo? Yeah, it is yeah. a guy in a beret. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, going up to a woman like literally like with a having a frog in like a in a pocket yeah. on her suspenders. It's just a guy that looks like Jim Gaffigan trying to like rape Dasha Necrosova. From Red Scare. <laughs> that was, yeah. And everyone is dressed like a train conductor for yes. some reason. Yes, the, but the little trains, little tiny trains. Yeah, mm-hmm. everyone's dressed like what if steampunk? A train in a dream. Yeah, everyone's like, what if steampunk was somehow gayer? Could you imagine? <laughs> like what they stood for, though. Yeah, sure. Which was things. Yeah, sure. Like healthcare for everybody. Right. Which is being very annoying in, in banquet halls. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're ruining the healthcare for everybody thing because healthcare for them is like all day I need to like I need to talk to a you know mm-hmm. a therapist that tells me that it, like it's safe to walk down the street. Mm-hmm. Like, so I, they they ruin yeah. the healthcare aspect. I, of I never it. understood. Everybody I knew in the DSA would just kept posting on Facebook back in the day that they couldn't figure out how to get on unemployment. Mm hmm. That right. was that was their whole crusade. It's like I've I've been trying for seven years to get on unemployment. Yeah, and I, I don't know how to sign my name yeah. on this form. People the, on the DSA are like, "How do I get my spleen removed when I make seven thousand dollars a year?" <laughs> yeah. That's being in the DSA. The DSA sponsored by GoFundMe. <laughs> We were at this uh, open mic, and right before we got there, there was a DSA meeting, mm-hmm. and so all these fucking all these people start filing out, and we were with our friend Willie, Willie Dynamite, very funny comic actor. I don't know if he does stand up anymore. He's a, he's a, just a great, really guy. really funny guy, yeah. And um, 
he's there and he's like he's like man like i don't i might join the dsa like these women are like they're pretty good looking mm-hmm. like there's a lot of hot women here like just very 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 innocuous and benign. just to us yeah, yeah just to us <laughs> and then this like this this uh this like fat white dude that looked like he was just made of a beard <laughs> like he looked like a be- like he mm. his dad was a beard <laughs> and his mom was a beard mm. somehow yeah, like he kind of like looked like the Men in Black Roach guy. Yeah, the sugar water. He guy. looked like male Gilbert Grape's mom, <laughs> okay. like Gilbert Grape's dad. Sure. <laughs> and he walks out, and and we're all kind of making just jokes about it, but like not we're not being aggressive or weird at all. Sure, like, mm-hmm. we don't even think anyone can hear us. And he walks by us, and as they're all filing out, he goes up to he he says to all of us, he goes fuck you to Jace. He goes fuck you and. Fuck you, you racist piece of shit. And he's called Willie the racist piece of shit, who's the only black guy there. Yeah. 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 And he goes, I heard what you said. Yeah, yeah, I heard what you said, you racist piece of shit. And he walks out. He he they're so dumb, he thought like being like attracted to women made you racist. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. He didn't even know the right. I never thought he's, to connect. He's that. interacted with so few black people. He thought Willie was in blackface. Yeah, he was like, "I see your game, Trudeau, <laughs> Mister Trudeau." <laughs> but do you remember? Am I remembering it wrong? Because mm-hmm. you, you, he thinks Willie Dynamite is Dana Carvey. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks yeah. it's, he's on the set of Master of Disguise yeah. too. Jace, maybe I got it wrong. What happened? Wait, wait, what happened? I, how what I happened? remember, I might be misremembering it. Is that he he came up and he said all that. And then you just loudly, kind of brilliantly go, what's the matter? Do you hate black people? Oh, that's right. I didn't say that. Loud enough that the entire... The whole DSA was like, what? And then he was like, no. And he started doing like yo-yo tricks and (laughs) just tried to distract from it. He started doing improv. (laughs) Somebody give me a word. (laughs) He goes, yes, and... (laughs) Yes and no. Yeah. Yes and no. And he he turned around and just like slime trailed mm. out of the coffee shop. Yeah, yeah. the human slugs. <laughs> just people ma- like made of dirt. Yeah, <laughs> leaving just a trail of sweat. Just a pile of wet dirt. <laughs> a golem, if you will. A golem. A From d- Jewish folklore. A mud snowman. By the way, when I first heard about the DSA, I said, I said that sounds like something for me. And then I saw everybody that was in it, and I was like, not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. I'll change the world when everyone with me is less retarded. What's that? Every woman has uh, birds, bird bones? <laughs> yeah, right. Wait, yeah. what? Every woman has like avian bones, like hollow bones. You can't, you oh, can't yeah, be in the yeah. DSA unless you have osteoporosis. <laughs> Unless you look like the Olsen twins when everyone thought they were yeah. about to die. Do your feet break when you tie your shoes? Welcome to the DSA. <laughs> I'm going to go to the bathroom on that. Okay. Yeah. We're almost, we're right on an hour. Uh, yeah, me and Jace will go in for the wind down here. Yeah, we'll get them on the, we'll get them on this. We'll just by talk the, about therapy. By the way, did you know Emma took a shit in front of the uh, Holocaust Museum? <laughs> Over here, not you, Gracie. It was Emma that did it, and it was a perfect little on the steps. It was of laid the, in a swastika. Yeah, it's on the steps of the Holocaust Museum, and it was like a it was a cartoon shit. Like if you if you were drawing a shit in like in a cartoon, <laughs> right? It was a perfect swirl with the thing. <laughs> it was a swirl. It had two it was bits the emoji. Of, it had two bits of corn and green lines coming off. Yeah, of it. and she she's never shit on concrete before. <laughs> And as soon as I'm on this long walk with her, and as mm-hmm. soon as I get in front of the Holocaust Museum, she starts taking a shit. Yeah. Gracie and starts barking uncontrollably. Like, perfectly in the middle. It was crazy. And I'm looking at her. I'm like, dude, yeah. this you can't be doing this right now. It looks it looks like I trained her on command. So if like, we get too close to like a Jewish building or something, that she takes a big steaming yeah. hunk of shit. <laughs> She's shitting, and she lifts her one paw up like that. <laughs> While she's doing it, <laughs> you look and she somehow shit in a bag and lit it on fire. Mm-hmm. Do you think they went crazy because they saw those big pile of shoes? <laughs> I know dogs love shoes. Dogs love shoes, dude. Emma Emma took a shit in front of the, the Holocaust, Holocaust museum, museum on the steps over there. Yeah, like right on the concrete. She took a, as I was walking. She just stopped. She's never shit on concrete before. And she just started shitting right. In, I thought it was going to be like the beginning of a curb your enthusiasm episode. You know, I never thought I shared anything in common with an animal until now. They you, are man's best friend. You do live suspiciously close to the Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> I do. Like it was a big gag. Yeah, it is very weird. Never been, by the way. Never. It I've sucks. Walked by it plenty it's of all times. about the Jews over there. 
Yeah, they yeah. don't give a shit about any other yeah. Holocaust. They're fucking narcissists. They walk you through. They go, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Some Cambodia, <laughs> some others. There, but they're they were all like weird and tiny. <laughs> they go, yeah. Apparently, they killed a bunch of donut people. Whatever. They killed a lot of donut <laughs> salesmen and shit. Here's our big one. <laughs> Get a load of ours. We ran the world. <laughs> We were we were gangsters. Mm. We were gangsters, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> and oh, Emma, no. Emma always kind of does that in situations like that where she just does the worst thing. She's like the possible. racist dog. Mm-hmm. She's the dog that barks at black people. It's like she's a curb your enthusiasm dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grace, Gracie I, hates Gracie black Gracie people. Gracie is the one who hates black people, actually. Yeah. Emma is, is anti Semitic, it mm-hmm. turns out. Oh, man. You got the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah Gracie. Covers that base, and right. Emma covers yeah. the other one. Emma is black, so she hates Jews. Yeah. Well, Emma's kind of more astute too, even though Gracie's smarter. But Emma's like, Emma knows who's white passing, but but not a but but a minority essentially. Right. So then mm-hmm. she can sniff it out. You right. know, she's like a hunting dog. Emma's got street smarts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Emma's Emma's walking around flipping a big quarter <laughs> up with that one paw. Mm-hmm. She goes, you know who runs Hollywood? <laughs> You're like, Emma, Emma, you get the spray bottle because she's hating Jewish We're people. We're going down the walk of fame and we get to Mel Brooks' star and she just starts barking at it and just pissing on it. I can't believe you've never been to the Museum of Tolerance, you piece of shit. I've by it plenty of times, but it's so expensive. They do, isn't it weird? I actually the, don't know how much it is. Oh, okay. It would have been a funny gag. Should I see how much tickets are? They charge a lot. By the way, do you guys want to go to the Lakers game next week? Of course. Cool. Yeah, it's on the that. company. Hey, there we go. It's on the company. <laughs> yeah, we just don't under- understand how expenses work. Yeah, At the end of the month, we're like, wait, we have to pay this? <laughs> uh, oh, it's $16. Oh, oh that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. Seniors get a discount of $3. Mm-hmm. There's a guy at the front haggling on the price. <laughs> <laughs> Do Jews what get if in I free? Give, what if I give you eight dollars at the front, and if I like it on the back end, I'll give you another eight? <laughs> I guess people know I live near this thing now, but not for long. I'm moving in. Yeah, what does yeah, that even mean? What, what do they go through every home, knock on every door? Yeah, like they're the actual Gestapo. Yeah. <laughs> we heard you're hi- hiding Ben Avery here. <laughs> You know, there's no train, though. <laughs> oh, they don't have a train in it that takes you through? That would be nice. It would be nice if at the gift shop you could buy those big round hats. Like it's one of those Wisconsin cheese hats. Yeah, that would be great. Like you're a Packers fan, but for Jews. I don't even get why it gets so weird <laughs> when we talk about it. Can you... They should make a thing... Like they should try to to get more people in. They should update it a bit. Like where you walk in, you put on 3D glasses. So mm-hmm. things like pop out. Like the, the flame right. are popping James out James Cameron's <laughs> Museum of Tolerance. Yeah, there's a ride. Yeah. The Jews are blue. <laughs> Yeah, imagine, mm. if you will, there's a crippled man who goes in a machine and yeah. he gets transferred into a bluer, smaller, weaker body. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the Yahweh of water. There we go. We got it. Hell yeah. There you go, dude. Hell yeah. Is, Hell is that yeah. the title of the episode, The Yahweh of Water? Because we are ending here. We're, the we're, Yahweh well, of Water? I, I would guess. never. I would never type out God's name like that, but sure, go ahead. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, if you want to incur the wrath well, of the creator. We'll, we'll think about the name later. We'll see. I, we'll I think, think this, about it. I think this is the main episode. We never know, though. It is over now. It's probably the main episode. Yeah. No but no you idea. don't know um, that. You don't know that. This next one might be just fucking just unreal, and we have to release it. That's mm-hmm. true. You never know. I want to say, in, in closing, I love Dana Gould. I think he's very talented. Talented, one of the best ever. We love, love Jim love, Gaffigan. Love Jim Gaffigan. Love, love Dasha Nekrasov. She's been very nice. She was love very nice Red, to me the few times. Love I've Red her. Scare. I uh, love, the, love DSA. the DSA. Truly. Um, uh, if you did work at an office in oh. the fifties, nineteen fifties, I I apologize. Hold, I didn't mean to I, offend you. I love Jews. <laughs> oh, love Jewish people. This may be the first one you should have started with. And mm-hmm. I would love to work on all those shows we talked about yeah. that we don't like. I uh, wouldn't. I have, and it's it's a <laughs> hellish existence, yeah. and you're not proud of anything you've done. It is it is funny the times we're like Devin. How was your dream? And you go terrible. I go, it wasn't really. You felt good. I felt good mm. leaving, and and then I and then I saw it, and I was like, ugh. You, and then you go, oh, but the food was actually no, it wasn't that the good. The food actually. wasn't even that <laughs> yeah. good. And my favorite person was the guy that holds the lights. Mm. Yeah. And then your mom's like, how can I watch you? Like, you have to go down to the seventy-one gas station. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you use Pump 7, it automatically plays yeah. after the Jimmy Kimmel ad. My mom asked me, how do I watch that TV show you're in? And I go, here, let me give you uh, my login for AutoZone.com. Because it's on AutoZone.com. Yeah, it's 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 on um, AutoZone. It's on Pep Boys uh, during Black History Month yeah. only. Yeah. Mom, it's... Uh, we're you the have old... to buy motor oil yeah. to watch the no, show. No, it's really... It's a great opportunity for me. I'm on the first show on Target's app. Mom, so what you have to do is you have to buy a JetBlue ticket. You can only watch it on the plane <laughs> while you're flying. Mom, I'm in a show with the Target dog. By the way, what is it with those shows where... it? Because I've, I've worked on the set of them, and then it's lunchtime, and there's a guy there with the food, and he's like wringing out the, the pieces of grilled chicken. He's like, sorry, I got to get all of the moisture out of these. And you're cutting oh, into it. You're like, this is the worst thing I've ever had in my it's life. It's insanely dry. Mm -hmm. Everything's horribly dry, and just it's 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 because it's a guy squeegeeing like a chicken, trying not, to get all yeah. the moisture out. Of not it. enjoying food now is like a sign of progress. Yeah, it's you a guy, can't guy can't ironing, be tasty. Ironing you're getting all your cuts. Yeah, on exactly. a board. <laughs> you're ironing big pieces of prosciutto. Yeah, and then hanging it yeah. up on a clothesline. Yeah. yeah, it's like ooh, for lunch today, it's lasagna made in a dishwasher. Great. It tastes like beef jerky for some reason. Oh, that's great. <laughs> huh, how's it dry? It was and made in a dishwasher. Hmm. They go, that's actually not beef. That's made out of a vegan vegan compound that's much worse for you than yeah, beef. Yeah. You yeah. go, no, 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 no. I'll be right back. I'm going to my car. I'm going to eat a bunch of gum. I'm going to chew a bunch of gum and swallow it because I'm starving. How was your lunch today? Well, lunch wasn't very good, but the hubba bubba I swallowed is really holding me over. Uh, yeah. Patreon.com <laughs> slash Lemon Party. We have 13 episodes behind a paywall on the Patreon. Uh, De Devin's podcast is very funny. Hate Watch Podcast. Hate he Watch had a Pod. new channel. It got deleted. YouTube.com slash Hate Watch Pod. Check it out. Um, and uh, to go to the Patreon, we got video on there too. Some people keep signing up and say there's not video. There is video. Yeah, I don't know what that means. These people, these everyone asks questions that, 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 that no one knows anything. It's like an, it's unbelievable how out of the loop <laughs> people are that are with you every day. <laughs> they comment on the video. They go, "Where's the video?" They go, "I'm like, it's scroll up." People that listen to the podcast will hit me up and they'll be like, "Dude, start a podcast." <laughs> Love the show. It's, Please start a show. It's astounding. It's these people, they live under beds or something. I don't even understand where they get With their- With little sleepy time their, caps big old, and a candle that a they carry. big sleeping cap and a candle, and they listen to you, but they don't know what, why, or how, right. and they don't know what is happening mm. ever. But it, uh, they're beautiful people. Yeah, mm. we love everyone. As long as you have a credit card. <laughs> as long as that credit card keeps going through, we love everyone.